Hi guys, so today we will discuss and we will see how to install Tomcat 9 server in our Windows 11. So before going to installation, uh, I want to clear one thing. There are two types of server. One is application server and another is web server. So we will discuss what is application server, what is a web server, what is the difference between application server and web server in a separate video. So just we will directly install a Tomcat here, go to your browser and search Tomcat 9 download simply. So you can see there is a fast thing Apache Tomcat because Tomcat from Apache, the Apache Foundation, Apache Corporation organization give the Tomcat 9 software, they give lot of things. So go there. There is a binary distro section, okay? You will get a zip, tar, 32 install zip, 64 bit install zip. So don't go for the zip file installation, like go the installer, it is good. Click on the installer. Yeah, I already have that. That's why it's saying add the duplicate number of file. So I need not to go into download here. I'm just go to, is it there or not? No, not there. Still it is saying, okay, let me. Okay, yeah, it is 11 MB of software. Just click on start download. Click on yes. <coughs> yeah, I think that my internet is very fast. That's it. Yeah, go to program. See the Tomcat exe file. Double click on that. Click on say yes. Next, this is the Apache Tomcat like term and condition. You can say I agree. Because I already read, if you want to read, you can read it. Okay, give some time and you can read. I agree. Full, make it full. Click on next. And there's a port, shut down port number. You can give anything. Eight two zero five. And uh, this is the port number on which your server will going to run. So I suggest one thing or recommend one thing. Don't use this eight zero eight zero. Maybe sometimes it is busy. So use your port number two five. I'm using two five two five. Okay. So this for the admin console. There is a required password and username. So we will provide it. Anything you can provide. Okay. Admin, admin. Anything, whatever you want, you can provide here. So you need not to worry about that. Click on next. So one thing here. See. In I have been my system JDK 1.8 in 11. Okay, so the default is 1.8. So directly the JRE 1.8 is coming. Yeah, in new versions, the JRE is not coming. And some people think how we can you choose the JRE. So you need not to choose the JRE directly. You can go there. You can directly choose, directly choose the JDK. Okay, because uh, in 1.8 we have JRE. So it, directly choose in JRE. If you want to install in higher versions, so directly choose the JDK one, okay? Here, okay. Then just click on next, see. This is the destination folder where your Tomcat will going to install. So don't choose the default location, browse it, go your, like choose your, your location, not the default one. So I want before, sorry, this is my display. Uh, I want to choose D drive, then Java. In Java, I think a server folder, yes. I want to create another folder inside server that is Tomcat 9x. Anything like Tomcat name to get easy, okay? Choose it, then click on OK. See, D Java server Tomcat, a good location. <laughs> You, you need not to create these folders, okay? Directly, if you install in D, make it server Tomcat, <laughs> need not to worry. So click on install. Yeah, it is installing. Okay, just to uncheck these things, don't check and finish. If you don't make it complicated, just uncheck these things, make it finish. So we will start the server. We have to see now our server is installed properly or not. So go to your D drive. Sorry, my D drive, Java, server, then inside Tomcat, it will ask the permission, first time only. Continue, yeah, we are inside the Tomcat. Now go to bin folder, there is a Tomcat 9 file, 
application file just click double click on that say yes yeah see it is taking time sometimes yeah now you can see the successful message here org dot apache dot catlina dot startup dot catlina dot start server startup in one four eight four millisecond that means our server is started successfully go to your browser we have to see the we have to see now our server started not local host two five two five don't forget your path port number enter okay see this is our home page there is a admin console you give the admin username and password now how you can go there now there is a see manage app is there now click on that here that will ask the password and username you give during the installation so admin admin i think i use a lot of time now. that's why it's coming automatically click on sign see so these are default applications so which application you deploy in the tomcat server that will come here so these are default default application you need not worry about that okay or you can manage here so that's for yeah that's that's for the video okay we will discuss more how to how to we can configure our tomcat server in eclipse in another video so thank you stay connected if you like our channel share with your it friends they also get more benefit on from this video okay Give some love.